The Vietnam War Memorial adds a new name to the wall. The Commandant awards innovative Marines, and the Corps hosts a symposium addressing gender bias. This week on the Corps Report. This is Corporal of Marines Kenneth Ray McGuire. He died during the Vietnam War. He was never added to the Vietnam War Memorial due to technicalities. But all that changed this week when Kenneth R. McGuire was immortalized on the wall. Semper Fidelis Marine. The Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Robert Neller, awarded the 2016 Commandant Innovation Challenge winners this week. The Marines were recognized for their innovative ideas to increase the Corps' capabilities and warfighting advantage. The Marine Corps hosted a gender bias symposium in Quantico, Virginia on May 31st. Law enforcement and academic experts identified and suggested possible solutions to allow Marines to serve to their full potential by removing gender discrimination or harassment from their workplace. Brigadier General William Seeley had this to say about the event. And this is part of an ongoing series, again, to inform and better educate all of us as leaders on how we interact with regard to gender in the Marine Corps. Uh, we need, all need to be treated with dignity and respect no matter who we are. Professor Teresa Vescio gave this advice for helping to end gender bias in the workplace. We don't want to be protected like your mothers or your sisters or your daughters. We want to be respected like your coworkers, like your partners, like your teammates. That's all for this week on The Core Report.